huge shot right before the horn, and now a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool, and he's only got 60 seconds to recover here, so we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. And let's take a look at that from a different angle. Brittany Palmer is here, as always. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Let's All right, let's get to round two. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round, to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. Robbie Lawler is one of the most ferocious guys that has ever competed in mixed martial arts. He has nasty knockout power and a tremendous amount of experience against world-class competition. Lawler gets hit with a kick. He appears largely on... Whoa! Oh! This could be it right here. Oh, he might be out. And we got a fight on our hands. Big left hook. stoppage victory. Yeah, Joe, a lot of credit to go around here. You've got to credit the winner of the fight for his aggressiveness down the stretch. But as you did, you've also got to credit the referee here. He deemed that the defensive fighter was not intelligently defending himself, and he was in a perilous situation. So what do you do? You step in and prevent any further damage. Nice job there by the referee. And let's look at that from another camera angle. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 44 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and still been talking about those two words throughout fight week and new UFC champion. He completes the mission here tonight, and you can see the emotion spilling over. Absolutely incredible what this fighter was able to accomplish.